always alerting, always tracking. This is Next Weather. And next weather meteorologist Lisette Gonzalez is keeping a very close eye on Hurricane Fiona. Lisette. Yes, and it's so sad because Hurricane Fiona did make landfall over Puerto Rico over the weekend, and now the entire island is without power and still dealing with the brunt of the system with heavy rain, gusty winds, and ongoing flooding. And now Hurricane Fiona is slamming Eastern Dominican Republic where it made a second landfall around 3.30 in the morning. And here's the latest 5 a.m. advisory from the National Hurricane Center. Fiona is moving to the northwest at eight miles an hour with max sustained winds of 90 miles an hour. It is a category one at this time and forecast to continue moving generally to the northwest headed near over parts of Turks and Caicos as a category two potentially late tonight into tomorrow and then by Wednesday it could be a major category three hurricane then moving to the north and then the northeast possibly towards Bermuda by the middle to end of the week. But here's a look at the latest satellite and you can see just how how powerful Fiona is and it is just dumping torrential rainfall over eastern Dominican Republic near Punta Cana as well as still over much of western and central Puerto Rico so they really just need that deepest moisture which is typically on the eastern side to pull away for us we're going to see the chance for some storms in the afternoon and evening hours and flooding will be possible for some areas through the middle of the week but we're going to be turning drier by the end of the week and right now our radar is quiet and dry but as we take you through this afternoon storms will develop and we are going to see another round of afternoon storms as we go into tomorrow as well. So just keep the umbrellas handy as we are going to need to see the chance for some storms in the afternoon hours, but then the rain chance won't be as high by the end of the week.